Hello, in this video we will be looking at DNA and predicted traits of a Bronze Age Indo-European woman from Siberia. GD match results will be later in the video. This is her predicted phenotype with Nashakot. Interestingly, Hiris Plex predicts her to have dark skin as well, and I think this very conclusively puts the whole blonde Afanasyevo myth to rest. With Snipper Free, she's predicted to be very swarthy as well. This sample had the European mutation that protects against myopia. According to her genotype in Compt, she was also a warrior, which means she was a fast metabolizer of dopamine. This is a typical genotype for everyone who is not European. Europeans tend to be slow metabolizers of dopamine. She also did not have East Asian EDAR mutation implicated in mongoloid physical traits. According to her genotype at Pro319 Pro in DRD2, she was not a no-go learner and was at a higher susceptibility to schizophrenia. This is a very typical result for all non-European people. She was likely lactose intolerant. She did not have derived OXTR, which is actually the closest we have to a real psychopath gene. East Asians tend to have derived OXTR and lower empathy, but this woman did not have this genotype. She had a somewhat increased likelihood of Crohn's disease, super high likelihood of Parkinson's, which is a very European disease, average likelihood of schizophrenia and type 2 diabetes, average likelihood of bipolar and asthma. Now let's move on to her GED match results. This is what she scores with the Eurogenes K13 calculator. Notice the complete lack of West Med and East Med. This woman did not have any farmer related ancestry and was pure steppe. Out of modern populations, the closest to her are Ukrainians, Tatars, Russians, Erzia and Moldavians. But of course that doesn't mean much when you look at how huge those distances are. Really, she doesn't resemble any modern person. And this is her result with MDLPK11 calculator. By the way, this calculator is brilliant, however two categories here are misnamed. The VHG category on this calculator really represents VHG and EHG and basically all European hunter-gatherers, whereas the EHG category really represents Caucasus hunter-gatherer ancestry. All in all, this woman had around 50% Caucasus, Caucasus related ancestry. Uh, here are her closest populations with this calculator, and then here is a two-way oracle. This is her result with Eurogenes K36. Uh, the largest category she scores is South Central Asian, and then here are some maps generated on the basis of her K36 results. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You can download this sample in 23andMe format by clicking the link in the description.